energy costs are not going anywhere but up. People need to think about how they can save energy. There is a growing movement in New York State. You're really blazing trails. It really is a paradigm shift. One that saves you money. Our savings were much more dramatic than we had ever anticipated. We're able to save over $100,000 a year. Saves energy. Energy efficiency is something that sells. You have to consider those opportunities to save your cost. You either are going to be out of business or you're going to have to find other revenue to cover your cost. Takes advantage of our natural resources and is the wave of the future. Now it is on the front burner of everybody. They want to learn about it and they want to be smart about it. It provides improved indoor environments for ourselves and our children. And you can be a part of this and benefit too. Together, we can save money and help the environment by designing and constructing high-performance buildings. The New York State Energy Research and Development Authority, also known as NYSERDA, can help you achieve these goals. According to the U.S. Department of Energy, Today's buildings consume more energy than any other sector of the U.S. economy, including transportation and industry. This is a major financial burden on everyone, including businesses, school districts, industries, and municipalities. About 40% of our energy consumption goes into building energy use. Buildings creates a waste stream that's equal to 136 million tons a year in this country. We typically spend 85% of our time inside buildings. It is estimated that buildings account for 12% of total water consumption, 68% of total electricity consumption, and 50% of greenhouse gases. And there's been much written about the fact that we don't have enough power supply to satisfy our needs going into the future. across New York, we are seeing architects, engineers, and building owners addressing these energy and environmental problems. From the first building in 1999, there are now more than 1,200 high-performance buildings throughout the state that are taking advantage of NYSERDA services. The projects include many building types and sizes, from a municipal building in Buffalo, an assisted living facility in Del Mar, a public school in Malone, a mixed-use project in Rochester, and a university lab in Ithaca. Not only have we made a very efficient building, but by so doing, we've reduced air pollution, we've reduced those other bad impacts on the environment. The reduction of energy consumed here not only just is an economic benefit to the building and, and to the owners, but it also reduces CO2 output. The lighting is the highest energy using element within the confines of an office building. So if you can reduce the highest energy use by 50% on just one element, you can imagine even midterm, never mind long term, the cost savings are tremendous. Whether building new or renovating an existing structure, a partnership with NYSERDA is the best way to achieve your goals. We offer financial incentives, low interest financing, technical assistance, energy modeling, green building charrettes, and other services. NYSERDA acts as a partner to the building project. We come in as the energy consultant. And, and our job is to advise the design team and the engineering team on energy efficiency opportunities we generally do that through building energy modeling or simulation where we'll create in the computer uh, the building design and look at the energy impacts of various improvements. And we have financial incentives that can defray anywhere from 40 to 70 percent of the incremental cost per measure. So we, we really reduce a lot of the financial risk. We try to move the process through as quickly as possible because we understand the projects are generally on a fast track. I sort of in particular will make it easier because they'll, they'll help with the learning curve. They'll, they'll bring professionals on your team and help pay most of their fees to 
help you make the right decisions. NYSERDA was able to help us by bringing to the table a nationally recognized daylighting consultant. That consultant uh, helped us as we were making design decisions in the building incorporate as much as we possibly could in terms of the way we shaped the building to uh, harvest daylight. Our yeah, experience with the uh, new construction program started six or seven years now. The uh, renovation of our student union building. The second building after that was the Mueller Fitness Center. Then the third one was the, uh, the Biotechnology Center. You want to bring the nicer to people in early in the design and, and work through your models and then pick what you want to do and then go with it. NYSERDA has a network of energy consultants who will work with your design teams to identify opportunities. These services are provided through NYSERDA on a cost-shared basis. The partnership between NYSERDA and the building community is showing impressive results in savings. And you can save too. One of the benefits we've seen is that our building is leasing at a much quicker pace than we expected. I moved into the Octagon about a month and a half ago. I'm loving every minute so far. The fact that it's a green building made it a must-have for me. If we incorporate systems that will save us $100,000 a year in our energy costs, our energy bills, that will actually add $2 million to the value of the building when it's sold. We added between 30 to 40 percent more square footage to the building. Our utility bills dropped $100,000 from fiscal year 2003 to fiscal year 2004. Just as an example, over my shoulder is a building that was constructed at RPI in 1960, did not have the opportunities for energy conservation measures. Conversely, for the new biotechnology building, we were able to, with the help of NYSERDA, afford the energy conservation measures and systems that make this building a lot more efficient. We're at about 25% energy savings on this project. It's uh, definitely a wow factor. What goes into constructing high-performance buildings? What are the details, strategies, and equipment used? And when is the best time to bring NYSERDA on board? The optimal time to take full advantage of the program is when they have, they're basically in the conceptual stage. By coming in early, we can bring our consultants in, they can create a model of the building, look at how all the different systems are going to interact with one another and really optimize the performance. The five areas that we identified for energy upgrade opportunities were installing a new roof, a new piping and drive system, high efficiency chillers, and a front end digital control for the HVAC system. We have the largest uh, photovoltaic array of any residential building in the state. Over in the chiller plant, uh, again, a 1,200 ton chiller was put in there. We received incentive payments for the, uh, again, a variable speed drive on a 1,200 ton chiller. That particular chiller plant is tied together now, all three chillers. We have the capability of operating seven buildings on that chiller plant. We went ahead and built the uh, two 500 ton gas-fired absorbers supported by an electric chiller for, to, to shave loads and, and pick up uh, off-season kind of loads, and it worked well for us. We just brought as much natural light into the building as possible, and natural light makes our people feel happier and more productive, and it also reduces the energy bills. We were able to capture rainwater and store it in a tank that can be reused for irrigation, for cooling tower makeup, and is also implemented into the building water feature as you first enter the building. We have three environmentally friendly chillers that run on uh, refrigerant all 134A. They have more than enough capacity to provide enough cooling to the entire building. 
one of the main green strategies used in this building is daylighting. And so if we can open up the space physically, then we have the ability to harvest all of this uh, natural diffuse daylighting. And by reducing that, we're saving the energy. Building for high performance is easier and more affordable than you may think. In fact, results are showing that instead of seeing a payback in seven to 10 years, the payback can often be reduced to three to five years with NYSERDA incentives and the energy savings will continue over the life of the building. When we originally started our expansion project, we realized that much of the criteria that was involved in having a green building was something that we could incorporate into our design. And the cost of it, in the long run, it really wasn't that much more. The engineering firm actually mentioned NYSERDA. It was kind of scary because it, could be, it was so easy. The meetings were very efficient, the commissioning process went very smoothly, um, so we were very pleasantly surprised. We can no longer build the way we have in the past. More of the building community is realizing its responsibility to reduce waste, pollution, and the excessive use of energy. And the movement to create high-performance buildings is growing every day. Shouldn't you be a part of it? I think we can incorporate more energy efficiency into buildings in New York State, and I think we need to right now. Energy is at its highest cost ever, and people need to think about how they can make their buildings better and save energy, and we're hopefully the path to get them there. If I was to look at my crystal ball, hopefully in the relative near future, sustainable buildings will be commonplace and that they'll be built intelligently, efficiently. If you have a vision for your future, uh, there's no reason not to do this. I can't imagine a project that you would not seriously consider uh, a relationship with NYSERDA. I think any project that's, that has an opportunity to do that would be well served. I think any developer has a social responsibility to use resources wisely. Increasingly the marketplace is demanding that and to leave the world in a better place than we found it in. <laughs>